Hello everyone, I welcome you to the Programming Fundamentals 102. Today we will be looking at the concepts, OOPs and algorithms. So let's get started with algorithms. So algorithm, what's an algorithm? Algorithm is a process through which how you're going to solve the given problem. So here's the definition of algorithm provided by Google and Wikipedia. It's a process or a set of rules to be followed in a calculation to solve the problem. So uh, algorithm includes the steps that we are going to take to solve that problem or the mathematical functions or the formulas which are included in the same specific thing. Uh, the third concept and the most important thing in an algorithm is called a pseudocode. So what's a pseudocode? Pseudocode is a code in which you don't actually write the programming language but you write the solution in a user-friendly or a readable manner for example if i'm having a problem for searching a specific number in a heap of numbers i'll be writing down the solution in english rather than hard code like coding it let's take an example of pseudocode okay um, so one of the basic step or one of the concept in programming we'll be studying is an if else statement so uh, let's take this first first example if it's raining outside you don't have to water the plants by yourself else go and water the plants so here's an example of pseudocode in which i'm just giving an instruction in english rather than in any other programming languages Let's take an algorithm for addition of two numbers. So as I've told you before, you have to think in a step by step manner and we have to implement that in a pseudocode today. So first step, we define two numbers, assign the value to them, mark resultant sum as variable like defining sum as a separate variable and then define the definition of sum that will be sum equals to addition of two variables defined. So this is an example of a perfect pseudocode that we can assign as in algorithms. Moving on, some of the basic algorithms that we need to know. Well, actually, you know, I feel like algorithms plays the most important, algorithms and data structures play the most important role in the programming languages. So here are some of the algorithms that you should be knowing. Uh, first is, sorting algorithm so in which you are given an order of numbers and you have to specify like arrange them in an ascending or descending order first and the most basic one is called as bubble sort in which we pick one number we assign it to a specific position by comparing it with all the rest of the numbers so I'm is followed by insertion sort merge sort and quick sort which will be uh, continuing in the further programming courses for example like C++ the other basic algorithms are the searching ones suppose we are given an array well array is a uh, let's say it's an it's a list of numbers I'm, I'm, I've given and I want to search a specific number present in that list or not so we have only three types of searching algorithms for that one is linear search Second is binary search and third is ternary search. So in linear search, we we, uh, we take the element that we want to find and then search it in the whole, whole array in a sequential manner. What do we do in binary search? We have our array, we divide it into half and then search in the left hand side first. If it's there, we give the output, otherwise search in the right hand side. In ternary search, we are having this array, we divided it into three equal parts. Search in each of the parts and if we can find, we return the value or else print not found. Next concept moving on, we have OOPs. So what's an OOP? OOP is called Object Oriented Programming. This is the most advanced topic which changes the definition of a high level language as compared to a low level language. So previously when we were having 
POC that is procedure oriented concept we used to focus more on the procedure or the definition that we are giving to solve the problem but in object oriented concept we focus more on objects for example uh, we'll be seeing further like we define each and everything as an object having introduction to classes so classes are a subscript that provides data security and inheritance concepts and furthermore so going on to the feature soaps these are objects and classes encapsulation polymorphism and abstraction object and classes are the one defining the variables of the data as objects and classes encapsulation here means we bind the data and the code together so that it's it's encapsulated in a single memory polymorphism is another concept that we'll be dealing is like uh, having one method or a function but it pro but it does more than one function for example if i'm having a car now car can be having many more categories it can have many companies but when we define it we define just as a car so we will be looking into that further abstraction is a data security or a keeps my object oriented or high level level language class a more secure manner in abstraction we only show the data that we want to show to the user not the whole information example of oops, yeah like here we have a fruit okay so there are different kind of fruits apple orange bananas pineapple okay and what is this one okay fine. but we all classify them as a normally a name under fruit now um in classes object one of the important topic that we should be knowing is we have our data we have the functions that that does the calculation or the methods inside the work like where the main works happen so here we encapsulate the function and the data into one capsule and call this as encapsulation so that's all for this concept here we'll be looking for furthermore and detail of all these concepts in the next and coming videos thank you